Hello and welcome to Derp Shield. This is another Tekka tutorial for power generation. In this episode we will be covering big reactors. Alright, so the most optimal format for a big reactor is a 7x7. 7 7. 4, 5, 6, 7. 4, 5, 6, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. And then just fill in the bottom layer. All right, so that's the bottom layer of your reactor. Now on the net, on the next layer, you it doesn't have to be this layer, but I am just going to do it on there. You want to have these four blocks: the reactor controller, a power tap and two access ports, one of which you want to be pointing out. Alright, and then everything else you just put reactor casings down and I'm going to grab the builder's wand so I don't have to uh, do this each layer and it's a bit quicker. All right, so that's three layers up, four, five, six, seven. All right. Okay, yeah, that is correct. Now on the insides, you want to make an X with fuel rod, yeah, yeah, yellow room fuel rods. You want to build it all the way up to one layer below the top like so. And then on the top layer you want to put reactor control rods. Alright, now for the last step you want to take li uh, resonant ender or any liquid um, if you so desire. I prefer the using resonant ender because even though it's expensive it will increase the output of the reactor by a substantial amount. So you just want to put resonant ender everywhere I personally use more ender than you need because I don't like the sound of flowing water but that is a choice of your own whether or not you want to use enough ender to do that now the problem with liquid ender is, as you see I toss the bucket in there, it will teleport stuff around, so falling into it is a bit annoying at this point. Alright, now to finish up, you just put your reactor casings, ah, reactor casings, around the top to finish it off. And you'll see that the texture changes to be like this. Now you go to your import area, after I grab the yellow room ingots, you need uh, some amount of yellow room ingots. For this 5 reactor, it's a stack in uh, 5 eighths or so, but you have that going in there. Then you go over to here and click on activate, and it will generate power. And it will even tell you how much power it's generating. This reactor setup right here will produce 2000 RF per tick uh, by default with the default settings for Tekkit. And then to get the power out, you just need a conduit. And you just stick it right on the power tap. And you, at, when you see stick a conduit on the power tap, that little light changes from red to green, which means that it's outputting power. And you just grab an energy cell. And stick it down. And the energy cell is now filling or you could hook this up to your power grid. In either case, this is big reactors. They require very little upkeep. Uh, they only require yellow ingots to upkeep and they will spit out cyanide uh, ingots which you can u create a second reactor with cyanide reprocessors to run solely off of the cyanide ingots. I personally haven't bothered to do that because big reactors, while they are very efficient, 
are not as efficient as a fusion reactor or a fizzle reactor in terms of power generation per second. In any case, this is the end of this tutorial on big reactors. I hope you enjoyed it. Thanks. Bye-bye now.